this video, I want to talk about converting your older FileMaker file in an FP7 format to the new FMP12 format, which is what FileMaker 12 and 13 use. Now for the most part, converting from FP7 to FMP12 is a real snap. And I want to show you how this works. After we go through a basic conversion, we'll talk about a couple potential gotchas that you might want to watch out for. That being said, these probably only affect 5% of the people out there doing conversions. So it's really not much to be worried about. But it's something to keep in mind, especially if you have a larger, more complex database that you consider mission critical for your organization. Now it's pretty easy to get your files converted. All you have to really do is take your files and close them and make sure they're closed out of FileMaker Pro 11. Next take your older FP7 file and open it with FileMaker 12 or 13. You're going to see a dialog like this. FileMaker 12 or 13 is going to ask to convert this database. Now this is a one-way process. FileMaker is actually going to make a copy of the file and do this conversion. This newly converted file will only be able to be read by FileMaker 12 or 13. Now just to keep things simple, I'm going to go ahead and check this box right here that says rename the old file, which will put the word old right here on it. Now it's important to note that the old file must contain the extension .fp7. If it doesn't have that extension, FileMaker 12 won't recognize it as a file that it needs to convert. So even if you're running around with a file that works fine with FileMaker 11 and it doesn't have that extension, make sure you manually go back and rename it prior to conversion to include the FP7 extension. Go ahead and press OK. FileMaker is going to confirm that you want to give this file its new name. You're going to say save. FileMaker is going to go through this process of converting the file. The conversion process will take a period of time depending upon the size of the file it needs to convert. Now you can see here that FileMaker is taking longer to complete the conversion of our layouts. That's because in our database called FM Starting Point, we actually have a fair number of layouts. Now keep in mind, in 99% of the cases, you're not going to be able to tell the difference in how your database looks from your older database to the new database in FileMaker 12 or 13. FileMaker does a great job of converting the database and making it look pretty much identical. Once the conversion is complete, FileMaker 12 or 13 will actually open the file and display it for us. Now this to show you how good of a job it does, I can open the database here in FileMaker 13 and I can open the old database which we still have in FileMaker 11. And you can see these are pretty much identical. In fact, really, I couldn't tell them apart if you asked me to. Now, I'm going to go ahead and look at the contact screen right here and try to look and see if I can see a difference. And as you can see, boy, I tell you, they're really, really, really close. I would say that 99% of the people who looked at these couldn't tell them apart. So FileMaker does a great job of converting your layouts and making them look almost identical. So now that you've seen how a conversion works from an older version of FileMaker with the FP7 format to the new FileMaker 12 format, let's discuss the areas you need to watch out for. If your older database makes use of plugins, you're going to want to talk to your plugin manufacturer in advance of performing the conversion to ensure that the plugins will still work. Of course, you can always do the conversion and try things out. Don't forget to install your plugins into your new copy of FileMaker 13. Additionally, if you were a bit of a sloppy developer and you weren't careful about defining calculations as text fields or number fields, versions of FileMaker prior to 12 were somewhat lenient about people who were lazy in defining calculations a bit sloppily. Well, FileMaker 12 and 13 are much more rigid and actually expect calculation fields that say they're numbers to actually be numbers. And also for that matter, calculation fields that say they're text fields to actually be text. 
The same goes for setting up imports in FileMaker 13. In previous versions of FileMaker, sloppy setup of imports and import scripts could be tolerated to some degree, but the new version of FileMaker requires people to set up the imports properly. So you might want to review any imports that you might have pre-scripted and wired into your database, just to make sure they're working correctly. And of course, this gets back to a broader topic. Before you do a conversion and go live for your entire company, it's highly advisable that you do a conversion as a trial run, and then take that new FMP12 database and some copies of FileMaker 13 with some test users and have them try it out to make sure it's behaving as they expect. It would be very unfortunate for you to take a very complex FileMaker database system with hundreds of layouts and thousands and thousands of records and not test the conversion before deploying it out to your entire company. It's always smart to test things before committing to them in the real world. The good news is that from our experience about 95 percent of all the conversion projects from FileMaker 11 to the new FileMaker 12 format work great without the need for any additional developer interaction with the database at all. As a couple parting comments, if you're using any custom web publishing like XML or PHP interaction with your FileMaker server, you're obviously going to want to do a trial run with your new FileMaker 13 server to make sure this capability is working correctly. Additionally, from FileMaker 12 to 13, the old instant web publishing technology was discontinued and replaced with the new WebDirect technology. As a result, the old look and feel of the instant web publishing technology is gone forever. And what your users will see when they log in to their web browser will be very different. Now in general, this will be a very welcome improvement because WebDirect is vastly better than instant web publishing. That being said, you should test and review this so you know what you're getting into in advance. So overall, the conversion from the FP7 format to the new FMP12 format is a snap. As a quick final note for our video, the staff at FileMaker have put up several good support pages that drill into this topic in more detail. I think I've covered it here pretty well, but if you want to read more about converting from the FP7 format to FMP12, feel free to click these links for some additional education. If you have any questions, feel free to email my team at support at rcconsulting.com.